Brain rule number 11 is male and female brains are different. We have actually taken pictures of the insides of a typical male and female brain and have isolated various functional regions. Here's the typical female brain, non-invasive imaging with a cartoon MRI. There's the herd instinct to use the restroom together, the part responsible for irrational thoughts, the argue and debate lobe, the chocolate center, the need to discuss feelings nucleus and the ever so small sex particle and sense of direction region. Sexism is alive and well in the 21st century. We also have the male brain. It's a bit more simple. You have to be more careful with interpreting this brain rule than virtually any other rule because it deals with a very controversial subject, the behavioral differences between men and women. We are hardly going to settle the war between the sexes in this chapter, and we must tread carefully, for even experimental design can be influenced by cultural prejudice. Even now, the only thing you can responsibly say with some confidence is the brain rule itself, male and female brains are different. You can see this clearly in what are human beings' biggest sex organs, their brains. When exposed to a traumatic event, men handle the emotional experience by firing up the amygdala in their brain's right hemisphere. That's important for two reasons. First, the amygdala is where the brain generates and remembers emotions. The second is the right side of the brain tends to process and remember the gist of an emotional event's meaning. With guys, you have emotions and you have gist. On the other hand, in women, a traumatic event registers her on the left side of the brain, the portion dedicated to details. That's important for three reasons. First, the female amygdala is involved in emotional responses, just like the guys. Second, the left side of the brain processes the details of the emotional responses. Third, their responses to traumatic events is exactly the opposite of what is seen in the guys. If these data mean anything, they create one of the strongest arguments I can think of for the genders to work together, from business to education, since we clearly need both the gist and the details. We certainly did so for the several million years it took to establish these differences, and with them, together, we conquered the world.